What is going on everyone? It's Chris aka The Nerd Dad and today I'm going to be unboxing Hasbro Black Series newest helmet, Bo-Katan. Let's check it out. What is going on you guys? It's Chris aka The Nerd Dad and before I get started I just want to say welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Right in there. Right here. Don't all right, you guys, so today I am going to unbox and review Hasbro Black Series' newest helmet. It is the Bo-Katan helmet. It is the Bo-Katan helmet from The Mandalorian, not from Clone Wars. So if you're hoping to get the Clone Wars version, it's not. It's going to be the Mandalorian version. I'm super stoked to open this up. I've been waiting a few days now since I've gotten it. I just never had a chance to actually like open it and check it out and display it anywhere. But now I have the opportunity to. So with that being said, you guys, let's dive into the unboxing right now. All right, you guys, so here is the box itself. Here we are. It's a Bo-Katan. And it is the Star Wars Black Series helmet. It's pretty standard, pretty much what we've seen. All of the internet of what it's supposed to be coming out. So we had an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, obviously, we have Bo-Katan here in the corner. That's actually what the hallway scene in The Mandalorian, I believe. It looks like here from here when you first see Bo-Katan. Here's a good shot of the side of the helmet. And, I mean, it's, so far it looks good. I mean, again, I'm trying not to get surprised because I remembered with the... Uh, the uh, Boba Fett one, we were a little surprised when it didn't look like the box. So um, it does have the viewfinder as well, and it does use a battery. I'm not sure what kind of battery, maybe a double A, triple A battery, and it does have the same little gimmick as uh, the Boba Fett as well. Here we have the front. You can even see the front. It does use the LED lights as well. And nice little diagram on top, so that's pretty nice. Black series. I feel like this is a bigger, oh, here we go. Triple A battery. So you need a triple A battery for this. I feel like this box is bigger. Bigger than the Boba Fett for some reason. Seems like it is bigger. But let's get the sucker open because I've been waiting for this all week to get this thing open. Now, according to Hasbro's website, this is not supposed to release until November. And the crazy thing is it's not November. It is currently May. So I'm not really sure how their pre-orders work because their pre-orders are for November, but you know, we're, we're getting them months and months early. And that's what happened to me with the Boba Fett Rearmored. Same thing. Now, shout out to Dorkside Toys. They're the ones who actually got this from. I got this from a user off of Facebook. Uh, he told me that, you know, that's where he got it from. Actually, he got it from their store, I believe. And, you know, I was, I checked their website and it looks like they didn't have any. It was out of stock, which is so unfortunate. And I was like, no, uh, no big deal. And then all of a sudden, I check it the following day, and they had it, and so I immediately jumped on it. Let's see here. All right, so it looks like very, very, very similar packing to what the Boba Fett was. Only difference now is the viewfinder wasn't located under the helmet, but on the side. So it looks like the exact same viewfinder, exact same one. Only difference, obviously, is there is a different paint job because it is Bo-Katan. The viewfinder here, it looks a little skinnier than, you know, than it was on for Boba Fett, but it could be wrong. And obviously the mechanism. So I noticed right off the bat, it seems a little slower, like it's a little thicker to make it go down a little. So we'll find out. We'll see if we can get the helmet on. Put that aside. And let's see here. Get the helmet out of here. We'll get rid of this box. We no longer need you. All right. Now I'm hoping the helmet isn't like super huge like the Boba Fett one was. I'm hoping it's kind of like the Mandalorian. So let's see here. Here's the big reveal. Wow, that's sick. Wow. Now, it does look kind of big. I will say that. I will say it does look kind of big. Not as wide as the Boba Fett, though. Definitely not as wide as Boba Fett's. Definitely not. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light in here. There we go. Wow. So it's like nice and weathered, just like in the Mandalorian. Wow, it looks really good. 
Now you can tell it's not real paint. You no, know, Hasbro doesn't really actually paint their stuff, but you can tell. Wow, that's really nice. Check the vents in the back. That's super nice. Let's see the inside here. Wow, it's nice. So it's just like Boba, just like Mando. It has these nice little soft little cushions inside. And then inside, it looks like a little hard hat. It looks like a hard hat. And what's it? Let's see. It's a buckle system. So this was, I think the Mandalorian had the little, you would turn it and it actually like get tighter and tighter. But this one was the, the buckle. And I can't remember which one uses the buckle. But now the batteries, I'm assuming, just like in Boba Fett. Right in here. And it used was a AAA battery. I think I have some AAA batteries. Let's see. Let me throw some batteries in there. All right, so we have a battery thrown in here. And all we gotta do is just reassemble this again. So this will go right back on top here. These scare me a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Every time. Or it goes the other way. Yeah, see, I could have broken it and ruined the whole video. Okay. Let's get this bad boy on there. Let's see it off camera if I can get it. There we go. Snaps right in there. So I notice it does go a tad bit slower. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see that there. A tad, tad, tad bit slower. So yeah, I mean, it's a super, super nice helmet. I like it a lot, and it really depicts Bo-Katan so well. The one thing about this, it does look exactly like it does in the box, so we're not being fooled, we're not being bamboozled by Hasbro again. This is a great, great looking helmet. This looks phenomenal. The viewfinder isn't super long, isn't super big. It fits the helmet perfectly. And yeah, I mean, the inside, yeah, it looks just like the Mandalorian one, almost identical. Let's do, a, let's do a fit test. All right, you guys, so here's a closer look of me actually wearing the helmet itself. I am turning my head left and right, up and down, just to test that buckle system, just to make sure my head stays in place. It does stay in place way better than the actual ratchet system. A little bit closer look at the helmet here. You can see just how beautiful this helmet is and has did an amazing job with this helmet. All the detail, including the back vents, phenomenal. Love this helmet. One huge upgrade to this helmet compared to the Boba Fett helmet is the viewfinder. Now the viewfinder itself does drop a little bit slower, something I would imagine be more accurate from the show itself. You'll notice it just drops down perfectly and the lights do start going up and down. The Boba Fett, there's just a significant bounce when it hits the bottom. You'll see it goes up, straight down, up, straight down. With the Boba Fett helmet, there's a bounce. A significant bounce, it almost makes it feel and look kind of cheap. Now, as a comparison between the Boba Fett and the Bo Katan helmet, you'll see the Boba Fett is wider and the Bo Katan is a little bit more narrow, and it is a much taller helmet. And now, with Bo Katan and the Mandalorian comparison, uh, they're almost just the same and narrow, it's just the Bo Katan is a little bit more narrow and actually taller. Hasbro really knocked it out of the park with this helmet, and I have to say, it's probably my favorite one in my collection. All right, you guys, so that covers this unboxing review of the Black Series Bo-Katan helmet. Now, I am actually really happy with the way it came out. It's actually a great size, and it's actually pretty, pretty close to the actual thing that we saw in The Mandalorian. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it because I'm running out of room. I just get, got this new shelf here, so I'm wondering if I'm going to put it right here. Haven't figured it out yet. But I am super stoked about this helmet. I think it is probably one of my favorite ones other than my Mandalorian one. Um, the Boba Fett one, it was okay. It was all right. But it's okay. Uh, you know, it, it's part of the collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. I think I said that in the last video too. Now, you guys, I did mention in my last video, I am going to be doing a subscriber giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. I believe the channel now is at 400. You guys were so, so close. I am going to announce exactly what that helmet is going to be now if you guys aren't following me on my instagram i will link that down below to where you guys can follow me there uh, i do put a lot of news up there a lot of random stuff a lot of star wars stuff on there 
And of course, I'm going to announce what that helmet is going to be on that Instagram channel. So make sure you follow me there ASAP. But guys, we got to crank those numbers up. So as soon as we hit the 500, we will be giving the giveaway to this helmet. I think I will do a worldwide giveaway. So it's not going to just be here in the U.S. I'm going to work it out and see how much it is just for, you know, just shipping and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure uh, my friends of the U.K., you guys are included in this giveaway as well. Okay, so that about covers everything. If you guys have any questions whatsoever regarding this helmet, please, please, please ask. I have no problem asking your questions. You guys know that. I love answering your guys' questions. I actually thoroughly enjoy it. Thoroughly. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys have a great day. And may the force be with you.